Do you want me to hold your hand? Yeah. Um, as someone who feels the weight of words probably more than the average person, <laughs> I've never had more difficulty putting them to paper. Um, perhaps it's because I know that I will never stop writing my vows. Um, they'll grow and change as we do. And so with that in mind, as you walk down so many different chains and roads May the sunlight follow you wherever you go May the laughter greet you like a morning song you lay your head may it feel like home. <laughs> Aaron I love you and I promise to always love you I promise to follow the example of Christ's love for the church and how I love you I promise to choose you every single day I promise to honor you in the ways that I lead I promise to lead you in the ways that I serve you I promise to allow God to be the center of my life and of our relationship. I promise to lay aside my pride with you, and I promise to be completely vulnerable. I promise to promote you in your strengths and to support you in your weaknesses. My prayer is to see you flourish as the woman that God created you to be, and my desire is that I would get to be that man to help you become that woman. You are beautiful, you are strong, and you are joyful. In the best times that yet lie ahead, I am for you. And in the worst times that may yet lie ahead, I am for you. And in all the times between, I am for you. For life. Kyle Scott, I promise to seek to discover more of you each day. As I learn you and as we grow together, I promise to continue to learn to love you in the way that you were created to be loved. I promise to be your helper your supporter and your sounding board. <laughs> um, I promise to respect you and joyfully follow your lead, trusting that you're seeking the Lord's guidance above all else. I promise to be your comforter when you know how you feel and when you don't. And on that note, I promise to hug you often, eight times a day for maintenance, <laughs> 12 for growth. Um, I promise to cherish you always and to never grow tired of celebrating the gift that God gave me by bringing us together. And finally, I promise to never stop writing my vows. I will edit, re rewrite, and amend for the rest of our lives as God continues to write our story. Kyle, you may now kiss your breath. who is your future husband, which was pretty presumptuous of me since she was dating somebody else at the time. <laughs> but five months later, I set them up at the same table at our wedding, and that's when Kyle came up to me and said, is that who you were talking about? And I said, yes, and he went for it. Now, all these stories aside, I think the best way to really describe what kind of person Kyle is um, is just to look at the, the type of person that he's marrying and Aaron and, and how you really just bring out the best. E, you might have been the last one to wear the first communion dress, but you are the first one to wear the arguably, you know, more important white dress. And you look good, so. 
Kyle, welcome to the family. We're, we're really excited for you both and can't wait to watch your marriage. And I, I've heard this a million times, but I'm struggling with it. I'm gonna paint a sign so you'll always know as long as one and one is two. <laughs> as long as one and one is two, there can never be a father who loves his daughter more than I have loved. Armak Agusmani, our son and daughter. Arbanak Agusra. Arbanak Our blessing and love. And many of you already know this last part. Salancha. Cheers. <laughs>